It's time for everyone's favorite value-oriented action figure series, Dragon Stars. What's up, everyone? Thank you for joining us once again on the D-Star01 channel. I'm your host, Dexter Raphaelis, and today we'll be looking at Wave 14 from Dragon Stars by Bandai. Uh, I don't know why they always put Dragon Ball Super at the top there, considering that he's uh, he's mostly from Dragon Ball Z. So, <laughs> I don't know why. And this is Dragon Ball GT. And Krillin can be from Super, but I don't know why they put the Super moniker on there. But enough of that. Let's open these up. We're going to look at paint detail, articulation, and scale, and accessories. And everyone's been waiting for this one in particular. I can't wait to open up that one. And uh, so, yeah. Where can you get these? You can get these only at, not only, but you can get these anywhere, but I prefer that you get them at www.dstartoys.com, your reliable source for awesome action figures. Let's open these guys up. Let's save the best for last. First, let's start with Super Saiyan Gohan. I'm gonna open him up. We're gonna see how he is in terms of um, paint and detail here, and then we're gonna move into articulation and scale and accessories. Uh, I notice when it comes to accessories, these guys don't really have much. Looks like you just get hands, and that is pretty much it. And let's open him up, and let's see how he is. Pretty excited about this one. Gohan's one of my favorite characters in the Dragon Ball Z series. Oh, this plastic is holding on really tight to him. Oh, okay. So let's look here when it comes to paint and detail of Super Saiyan 1 Gohan. This is not Super Saiyan 2. Um, so let's look close. Number one thing that I've noticed when it comes to the Dragon Star series is that they are getting rid of the rounded hair and now we're getting something more spikier and more accurate to the actual anime. And this looks absolutely fantastic. We could go for more of a like gradient from like a orange to yellow or something like that. But you know what, I'm okay with just a pure shiny yellow because that's how Super Saiyan is. Of course we have the Piccolo suit which is purple. We got the boots right here and the skin tone looks very accurate. So what we have here is a very accurate Super Saiyan 1 Gohan and he looks absolutely amazing with those green eyes and everything like that. As this series matures, these figures are definitely looking better. So let's move on to articulation and scale. Now when it comes to Dragon Stars, just I just want to note that for the majority of them, the scale in comparison to like SH Figure Arts is not correct. Um, they're scaled just a tad bigger, okay? Just a tad. And heck, you can even compare with SH Figure Arts Bulma right here, as you can see that uh, she, um, yeah, these two just, she's a little bit too big. So if you compare them with Marvel Legends, on the other hand, it seems like this is what they're trying to scale them to is more for uh, Marvel Legends and stuff like that. So, let's see how tall he's standing. He's standing at about the very top of the hair here. We're looking at six inches. You know what? There's a little bit too much light. There we go. And so, yeah, he's standing at about six... What was that? Six inches? Yeah. At the top of the hair, just about six inches, and let's talk about articulation. We don't get our toe articulation, but we do get an up and down here at the ankle. We have a bend at the knee. Looks like we get a ball joint here at the upper thigh, as well as a thigh swivel. Uh, if you saw that pop out, it could easily be popped back in. We do get a thigh swivel right there. No butterfly joint, but that's okay because we have a joint right here in the shoulder. Uh, no hugging yourself, unfortunately. We have a double joint elbow right there. Ball and peg here at the hand, which can be replaced with the uh, Kamehameha hands. And we have two at the neck, looking to be above 20 points of articulation. Pretty standard stuff. So let's see how he poses. He can do front kick, uh, side kick, front kick. We can do a flying knee. We can do a charging, uh, charging kick right there, flying kick. We can do that elbow. Uh, yeah, pretty much standard stuff here when it comes to articulation. Now let's look at the accessories. Not much to look at. Looks like we just get Kamehameha hands, unfortunately. Nothing more, nothing less. And let's just put him on, why not? Because he doesn't really come with much, so might as well just put him on. And let's see. So here we go. And we have Kamehameha hands. And that's it, so you can get that Kamehameha going. 
And yeah, that is it when it comes to Gohan. Uh, I guess a question I have is, can this be removed? Yes, looks like the head is easier to remove than Piccolo when he came with his cape. Uh, so yeah, you can remove that. And then you can have a uh, capeless or cloakless Gohan here. And that looks really cool. I really like it without the cloak. So that looks really nice right there. Let's put that back on. And let's move on to the next action figure in the series, which is Krillin. All right, so we have Krillin here. Now, right off the bat, I'm going to tell you right now, just looking at this guy, I unfortunately, I think Krillin is a little bit too big, even for his current scale. Uh, if you guys disagree with me, let me know down in the comments down below. Obviously, if you disagree with me, you got to give me some proof, man. you got to say, hey, I got this figure, and he works fine. But from what I can tell um, from Krillin here, He's a little bit too tall. He's a little bit too tall. And compared to Bulma, I guess this isn't really the, the best um, comparison because this is Teen Bulma and she does get a little bit taller. Uh, Krillin is 5 foot and Bulma is 5'5". Five five. So, yeah, it doesn't quite work well, especially if you're looking at that. So, yeah, he's a little bit too tall in my opinion, but when it comes to everything else like paint and detail, he actually looks really good. As you can see, we got the six dots here at the forehead right there. We got a really nice skin tone. We got his uh, classic gi and the boots and shoes look really nice. Uh, yeah, it looks like Krillin as it should. He's bald. <laughs> but yeah, my main issue with this figure is that I think they could have just made him a little bit shorter. And that would have been, you know, a perfect crinoline figure. Right now, he just looks a little bit too tall to be a crinoline figure. So speaking of being too tall, we've got to see how tall he's standing. And he's standing at five and a half inches. So now we got to compare it with Gohan. So you can see, I believe Teen Go or Kid Gohan is actually a, a little bit taller than... Krillin. Someone tell me down in the comments down below. I don't have access to my phone right now. So, uh, yes, as you can see, Krillin's just a little bit too tall. And, of course, we got compared to Goku. See, he's already, like, almost the same height as SA Trigger. It's Goku here, so you can't really combine these two together if you're looking for an accurate scale. And, of course, we have Marvel Legends. So, let's see his articulation. Looks like we have everything that's the same as Gohan. Uh, yeah, nothing two different here 20 points of articulation everything should be the same yeah when it comes to these type of figures so let's look at accessories kamehameha hands um yeah i might as well just look at them why not i mean you don't really get much of these figures anymore unfortunately no build the figures no nothing like that you just get a really good looking dragon stars action figure oops wrong hand those pop in really nice and easy and there you have it more Kamehameha hands like so so let's move this aside and let's move on to the figure that everyone's been waiting for when it comes to the Dragon Star series we're gonna look at Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta now this figure is something I've been waiting for for a long time as well uh, I wanted one in SH figure arts it doesn't look like we're gonna get that so until then, this will have to hold you over, unless you really want the figurize version. Uh, personally, I don't want a figurize in my collection because they're a little, they're scaled a little bit too big, and that's my opinion. So let's look at this guy. There's a lot to talk about this guy. He has a lot of details that I want to look at real close. Now let's look really close at this guy. Wow! 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 The paint and detail look absolutely amazing for a figure of this price point. Looks really, really good. I love this orange. I love the eyes and the eyeliner look really nice. The hair is fantastic. Uh, it's no oh, look at this. This is something that I didn't even realize that there is a ball joint here at the hair, so he can actually move his head around really nicely. We don't have a stiff uh, stiff hair here. This is jointed, so it can move around really nice. Unlike the Super Saiyan three Dragon Stars, I believe Goku, that one did not have that much of movable hair and needed a ball joint or at least a better ball joint for his head to move around. But this one's really nice, so now you can have that movable head, which looks really cool. Uh, enough about the face. Let's look at the body here. We have that simulated fur 
skin right there that looks really cool. We have the sand tail right there. And the pants look absolutely fantastic. Really liking that blue as well. Super contrasty figure, which looks really nice. This figure definitely will pop out in your collection. Uh, yeah, really, really cool. Absolutely loving this right now. His vest. Um, okay, so I'm having a little issue here with the vest. So it looks like if you want to start playing with this figure, which kind of what is what these toys are all about, is playing with them. Um, they did not designed this very well so the vest opens up a little bit too much and it looks like there's like a, some sort of slotting system going on here but it doesn't slot very well and i get why they did something like that so you can have him move his arms around because you want to play with this toy this toy is like made for kids so <laughs> i mean it could be made for adults too i mean this would look amazing on your on your shelf I gotta say, this does look really good. I absolutely love the way this figure looks. Uh, but yeah, I guess there's one big glaring issue is that the vest really needs to be super glued together. I honestly can't see any way this could stay closed. Uh, so yeah, that is my biggest issue. Now let's talk about articulation and scale. Let's see how tall this guy is standing. He's standing at a whopping a little bit above six and a half inches. And of course, we've got to compare it with... Goku here, this is SHRS Goku. These two would actually work together because I do believe when they turn Super Saiyan 4, they do get a little bit bigger. And uh, Marvel Legends Spider Man, which I said before, it looks like what they're trying to scale to. And of course, we got Krillin from the same series. And why not? Let's just get Bulma in here. So there you go. Now, let's see articulation. Is there anything different from Gohan? No. Uh, looks like we have the same points of articulation as Gohan. Nothing is different. The only difference is here we do get an articulation for the tail, and we do get one for the back hair right here for the mullet hair. So it looks like we're going to be well above 20 points of articulation. You can get all your favorite poses in there, and he's very playable, very posable. So, yeah, uh, let's look at accessories. More Kamehameha hands. And we'll look at that at the end of the video. Let's close this video up. Let's review up and let's talk about these. And I'll give you my final thoughts on Wave 14 of Dragon Stars. All right, let's talk about this set. Uh, final conclusion. Absolutely gorgeous Gogeta um, Super Saiyan 4. Krillin and Gohan look really good as well. There's really no true complaints. My ma minor complaint about Gogeta is the vest, like I said before. And Krillin is just a tad bit too tall. Honestly, they could have taken off an inch and he would have been really cool looking. And here we're looking at a little bit too tall of a Krillin figure. So that's just a nitpick, honestly. Um, <laughs> so yeah, absolutely, you can get these figures at www.dstartoys.com. I believe this one's going for 24 and the rest are going for $21.99. So you can find these anywhere as well. You don't have to get it just from me. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Do not forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Hey you, thanks for watching, rate, comment, and subscribe, where? Right here, not there, right here, you, and thanks for watching, so, rate, comment, and subscribe, right here, right there, right here, yeah.